What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I'm recording back to back. What's up y'all? So I just wanna address things as they come. Welcome back. If you do not know me, just know that I am from Washington, D.C., and I am an entrepreneur, a young mom as well. My business website will be in the description below, so make sure that you check it out because there have been new advancements, if you will. So, yeah. In today's video, I wanted to do the Ahmad Arbery update, and... I want to do this because I told y'all in a George Floyd jump that there hasn't been a lot of movement in either case. You know, we want to see something happen, okay? We want to see these charges actually stick. And it's just this feeling that we all have together, like collectively as the black culture and the black community we want to see justice for both men and for all men that have been wronged by police especially and these vigilantes that go out and they feel like somebody looks suspicious so they want to harass them and it moves forward from harassment into a hate crime that not a lot of people are charged for I don't even think that they have hate crime laws in Georgia that will stick, but that murder charge should, especially with the video that was taken of the whole ordeal. Now, what we do know in a recap fit, we're not supposed to fight fire with fire when it's racism involved in a Georgia neighborhood and this neighborhood was majority if not all a white community right it's not a well diverse area even though Georgia is the south you know it's it's kinda to me it's just so mind-blowing that in the south people's minds wouldn't have changed by now you know there has been like if you don't know by now that black people are so resilient after all that they have been through to now if you don't at least give them props for that and you can't move past skin color is something really wrong with you is something really wrong with you because me as a person and I didn't really grow up that way, you know, but me as a young woman, I've realized that I can be proud of anybody of any skin color if they have really made strides and there's a lack of controversy racially behind their names. It's so many people of the white community and so many white people that I can mention right now that I'm proud of. Why not? I don't want to see nothing bad happen to y'all, but I got a problem with the ones that really do. I'm a person that is fair. I can say that there have been many white people that I really genuinely fuck with. That are really cool people. But I have met those ones that look at you and you can just tell the hatred that they feel by looking at you as a black person if you've never been in that scenario then you wouldn't know what I'm saying you wouldn't you wouldn't understand it because surprisingly a lot of black people have not felt the racism of our ancestors so they don't know the importance of spotting somebody that's racist of moving away from that shit we're not supposed to fight fire with fire when it's racism involved against us because we end up getting killed Amar Arbery did nothing wrong he was in a Georgia neighborhood jogging and they had seen Ahmaud Arbery before 
and in their words he was stalking this house that was pretty much abandoned or not not really abandoned but construction had stalled or something so my thing was y'all making it seem like it wasn't other people that went into the same house and went and looked around when I first saw the video of him looking around and stuff and they say he got an architectural background, I understood that. Maybe if it was somebody that didn't have an architectural background and, you know, was trying to actually pick stuff up and put stuff in there, in their pants and stuff like that, you giving me thief vibes, then... I can take it another way, but Amar Arbery did nothing wrong for them to stalk him, for them to follow him, and on the day that he was killed, for them to shoot him in cold blood. He died for no reason. He, they thought that he looked suspicious just based on his skin color. That's why he died. He tried his best to get away from them, but all three men boxed him in. Made it so that he couldn't go anywhere and had to face them. Harassment personified. At the time, this father-son duo was the only suspects that we knew of. Now, some people did automatically say, who took the video, right? And that question was answered fairly quickly because the person that took the video did numerous interviews on the news and just couldn't stop talking, couldn't stop putting his face out there, wanted to be seen so bad that he fucked himself. I believe that he would have been charged in something because it got to be some type of crime. Comment below if this is a crime because it should be in the eyes of the law. If you are recording a incident that you know is going to turn tragic because you see guns and things like this and you choose to record versus to actually render some type of aid or try to stop this from happening I'm not saying put your life on the line but you know right from wrong right is not sitting in your car recording nothing would compel me to do that and I know that it would help the case but that's not how I think it's not because my eyes can tell the police the same shit that the camera seen. So that alone is very suspicious. It's no way that you can justify you sitting in your car and you simply recording this harassment personified. Um. So... He was already involved, right? But it came to light a few weeks after, maybe a week after, that he actually helped box Amar Arbery in. So along with you recording this incident, you helped the murder suspects commit murder. You helped them. You didn't aid in applying pressure to the wounds of Amar Arbery afterwards either. You didn't render aid and try to stop this from happening. You boxed them in. You helped the suspects. You are a suspect. So it goes from two to three suspects. And they all are charged with first degree murder. The update that I want to talk about in this is all men saying that they, they want the judge not to refer to Ahmaud Arbery as a victim. They are demanding this from the judge, from the court. People who are being so insensitive 
and not taking accountability for what they did and it shows in this way should be prosecuted should be should have a very lengthy sentence that's what I think because I'm tired of people just being blatantly racist and getting away with it that's a crime we not in those times no more and people that still have that mindset need to wake up you try your best your damn best to suppress those feelings and stop running your mouth and maybe just maybe you can live a long life just like your ancestors did with that racist shit but every time you speak out, every time God is listening, and the whole world should be listening too, along with the people that fuck with you, along with them, they should be listening, and they should be watching you as an example of what not to do, even though they have the same feelings. Suppress it. Oh, you need to. But do you? Do you really? If these charges don't stick to all three men, what hope do we have? Amar Arbery did nothing wrong, so when we go out our front door, we are taking such a risk. Because we seeing back to back that the police don't got our back and these vigilantes keep getting backed up. Keep getting a pat on the back for their actions. And they're so harsh compared to what they think we are, who they think we are. Let's pray that Ahmaud Arbery is at peace with knowing that these men will forever be known as terrible, evil people. And that's all I can really say about it because I can't put anything else up to, up in the air. We just got to wait and see, unfortunately. We just have to wait and see. It's your girl B. Octavia and I will be back with another update as soon as something happens. It's 2021. Ahmaud Arbery deserves justice. George Floyd deserves justice and so many other men. They deserve it. So let's see if they get it. Let's see if we get it. I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. Make sure that you subscribe, like it, comment, all that. And I'll see y'all again.